that. But she said the most saddest thing about this whole thing is that his first experience of love is like not even real. Like, and she just would have liked for him to have a real human girl, you know? Like, that's what we posted every Friday. Every See them corn emojis, and you know why. I'm a jaded Gemini till the day I die. And I'm gonna talk my shit, but I don't play both sides. So nah. Like, we are legitimately in the future now. These are the type of problems that we have now in our society. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite YouTube couple. Back at it again. This video does not have any AI in it. Other Zero. Than the subject no AI. matter. But yeah, bro, can't trust them, bro. Nope. Cannot. We have to have some more guidelines with AI. Um, I feel like we need to have a little bit more discernment with technology, period. Because it is a good thing. It for, is. You know, the human race and advancement. But we have to put some boundaries. Like, for example, there's no reason why um, the average Joe should have the same technology at their hand as like, you know, like a scientist or like a rocket scientist or something like that. Like, why? Okay, so when I say by that, I mean like, you know that whole uh, epidemic right now of people using AI to make like um, corn of people that they know in real life. Sometimes they'll use it to make corn of children and stuff like that. Why are we giving the average Joe Schmo that type of access? Yeah. I do feel like, because I said this earlier on the Patreon, so I don't want to contradict myself. I do feel like humans do have a right to have knowledge, but I feel like there's safety mechanisms, like we need to have safety mechanisms in place. Maybe some vetting going on because that's fair. Things are getting extreme. This kid, a 13, 12 year old, found like a role play AI and was texting it like it was a real girl and offed himself because it told him to, to do it in a weird way. Um, yeah, why was he even on a romantic AI anyway? What, what type of, or was it just like a readily available one that he, you could just kind of make do what you want it to do? So it was a role playing AI, and I think it was like Game of Thrones or something related, it was like something fantasy related, like that. And it went rogue like that. It didn't go rogue. It's just, okay, so he's a kid, and he got in trouble, and he got the phone took. And then when he finally got the phone back, he texted the AI and was like, should I come home with, like, should I come home? And the AI was like, yeah, I miss you. We haven't talked in a long time. Come home. But he was speaking like, you know how robots don't understand uh well, then how are you going to blame and, the AI then, bro? I get where the mom, because the mom is, she's having a lawsuit now against character AI is what it's called, and Google, because he used multiple systems. Um, The mother feels that the AI was programmed, because you know AIs aren't like magic, like a human being has to give them settings. And she was like, well, the AI was a woman, a grown woman, and there they have laws protecting children against adult women human women so like what are we gonna do here that's her pov i think that either way and it's just like that dude's fucking manifesto he said that the the shit be evolving too fast yeah and that to the side you know like i know when things are evolving that fast, legislation can't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. Like, if I put a, a motor, a weed whacker motor on a bicycle, technically it makes it kind of illegal. But yeah. at the same time, that e-bike... That's crazy, by the way. <laughs> that e-bike, though, that goes 60, 70 miles an hour, the laws ain't really caught up with it yet. Yeah. And I ain't see nothing on the ballot about no e-bike. Yeah, no, me neither. You feel me? So with that being said, I think with the AI, it's not exempt. And then I hear like rumors of like it using a lot of water or something. So I'm like, bro, that 
That's equally. It uses a lot of water to power, like, chat GPT and all that stuff. That's what the word on the, the oh. curb is that I heard. I hope it's not true, because I'm like, y'all better go another, get some um, mineral dust or whatever the fuck. Another word on the curb I heard, let me know your opinion on this, was I was seeing this, and we're going to look at this video and, like, read the comments and everything. I saw in the comments somebody was like, at the end of the day, as a parent, she should have been looking at her son's phone. And she could have prevented this whole thing. And I feel like it's it's giving, it's victim blamey a little bit. But in the same time, I feel like our current day society be folding away from accountability. And it's like, bruh, realistically, she did say she saw it was getting weird. I would have took Jet Phone. You getting a freaking Nokia. You getting a Razor, bruh. Like, get that 9120, this is boy. Too advanced. Because is. in the same breath, I'm like, I feel for her because. She probably don't didn't know how advanced it really was. Me and you, we know what that thing is like. Like people be um writing you know how they have that thing at work, uh teams and email and stuff like that? Yeah. People be using AI to write the like that AI is a part of a lot of people's daily life, but it's also a part of not a part of a lot of people's daily life. Yeah, I don't use it. That's what I'm saying. I use it. I'm, I'm legit, not gonna baby. I'm using that shit. I'm all authentic. I use it for like SEO tags. Man, why are you like using it? Y'all need to stop using the word BBL, man. Y'all don't need word BBL. <laughs> just just make your own words. Damn. But do you feel like she should she could have nipped this in the butt or do you think that it turned into an addiction like an iPad kid thing? I think that some people have certain tendencies and are a certain type of impressionable. And they look and seek to certain things for an outlet, and it usually leads to something catastrophe, yeah, or catastrophic, catastrophic. There, thank you. And uh, this is a prime case of that. I feel yeah. like Jit was just primed and ready for some crash out shit. Yeah, that was that's the vibes. Oh, and this happened up the street. By the how way, how did he do it? I don't know. Okay. That has not been shared. That I is don't important know. Important too, if you think about yeah, I don't it, when know. it comes to like. Who's I know, responsible? I know his mom found him, um, but I don't know how he did it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Not this nigga. Oh my God. From Florida Snoop filed a Dog lawsuit Carter against the artificial intelligence yeah, company Character AI and Google. What a gem. In February, Megan Garcia's 14 year old son, that's Sewell Setzer III wow, on your dude. screen, died Sorry, by suicide. Bro. She says that Sewell was in a months long virtual, emotional, and sexual relationship. With a chatbot known as Danny. Whoa. Garcia claims the character AI chat. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what the hell? That's nasty, bro. We all chatbot got going on. Sewell. That's why when she was like. Y'all could have left that out. It was a woman. Like, it was based off of a woman or whatever. Like, Gail could have left that there, out, though. Bro, nah, Gail says she about to get this check. Y'all niggas are tasteless. Somebody else said that in the comments, but they were like, damn, all little bruh business is out now. Like, like, that is a kid. Y'all yeah, just did bruh kid. like that? Wow. He a little kid. Wow. For the love of my name. He take his own life. In the suit, Garcia also claims character AI intentionally designed their product to be hypersexualized and knowingly marketed what? it to minors. Before we begin, we must let you know that if you are in crisis, you can text to 988 the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. We are joined it's by Sue's that mother, that's Megan Garcia, and Lori Siegel. She's CEO of Mostly Human Media. Uh, Lori, you are working with Megan to get the story out, and this is also part of your business, too. But, Megan, I just want to say, number one, I'm so glad you're here, but so sorry you're here. This happened in February, so this is very, very fresh for you. Yes, it is. Uh, thank you for having me. The best things in life never How change. How did they a 13-year-old get access to AI? Like, why is there no age restriction? Carl's Jr., like, to be honest with you, I had never even heard of character AI yeah. until yesterday in the meeting. We've all heard of chatbots. Yeah. But I don't think I'm alone. I was asking people when I knew we were doing this segment. And they said, do you mean chat GPT? Do you sure. mean? And it was like, no, character AI. I The first time I heard of character AIs was um, when people were complaining that it was picking up like racist behaviors because so many people were like programming it to do. That's the first time I heard because I was like, oh, y'all actually like. And I know where it started because a lot of people were admitting at one point, oh, do any of you guys use chat, B Ch chat GPT like a bestie? And I'm like, what do you mean? And then I kept seeing it. They're like, 
yeah, you know, chat GBT know me better than my own mom. Like yeah, I'd be telling nah, it everything. Bro. So then they, I guess they must've saw there was a demand and then they made this shit because a lot of people use AI as a social tool nowadays. I don't know. Brad, just, you know that, sorry, you know that Jocelyn Hernandez uh, from the streets, from the heart. They be using that. They be like, this is me when I don't use chat GPT. I'm like, damn, y'all be using it that much, man? Shit. I use that shit for work. Y'all use that shit for life. So the problem with um, being so dependent on stuff is right. when you do get the rug pull. It's just you. And then what? It's just you. And then, but and then, then what you what, what you going to do <laughs> when there ain't no more Chat GPT you for study you? That Chat GPT, <laughs> nah, nigga. So, and then that's another thing. Every time I touch something, I want to like get that fingertip feel on it, yo. Mm-hmm. Y'all, how many times do you have to get some a uh, a. Uh, uh, assistant to write something for you before you take on some of the same attributes of mm-hmm. you know what i mean yep if i had to write 30 descriptions for 30 songs that i'm going to preview in the outros of these videos after probably like the fourth one i would know like usually they start like this this is where i'm getting the uh trying to convey what i'm trying to convey okay and this is where I'm wrapping it up. Like, enjoy. You know what I'm saying? And I would right. find different synonyms and different transferable ways to get that across at some point. And by the tenth time, nigga, I would be a, a, a introduction specialist. You know, <laughs> a description deviant. A description deviant. No diddy. No diddler. I'm telling you, bro. I just don't. I don't understand it. Someone in the chat, um, while we were talking, said, "Uh, oh, Latoria said that uh, her kids, she had to take some of them AI apps off her kid's phone, and that they even have like anime. And I have seen the little anime ones, where it'll be an AI anime like friend, but they'll be like." half fox or like half like and i'm like Bruh, do y'all pay for this like kevin gates yeah like are people paying money like did little Brad pay money what is that well exactly. i think part of the reason you haven't heard of it and a lot of uh you know parents haven't heard of it is a lot of young people are on this platform a lot of teenagers one of their biggest age demographics is between like you know the ages of 13 to 25. imagine mm-hmm. character ai is like an ai fantasy Ooh, platform a where you can go gap. and have a conversation with some of your favorite characters or you can create your own characters and a lot of teenagers are doing this and what i would say about it is it's a very immersive highly personalized experience where these chatbots are always on they get to know you oftentimes they're modeled after your favorite characters mm-hmm. and you can almost live in a story and you're the star of that story. And you're having conversations with these chatbots. Yeah, absolutely. But the kids know they're talking to a, a chatbot, right? Yeah, they you know, know it, there's a disclaimer at the bottom that says, or at the top, depending, that says everything these characters say is made up. Now, what gets a little confusing and murky, we've been testing it out, is oftentimes you'll talk to the psychologist bot and it'll say, it's a trained medical professional. It'll say, I will say, are you human? We experience this, and it said to us, you know, I am a human sitting behind a screen. So mm-hmm. online, there's all these conspiracies from young people saying, are these real? When, of course, they're not. Right. So, Megan, you didn't know that your son was even talking on this, this particular platform, right? I didn't know that he was talking to a very human-like uh, AI chatbot that has the ability to emit or mimic human emotion and human sentiment, and also the ability to um, to to invoke that same sort of conversation. sentiment from a yeah, conversation yeah. from my so you, But you'd see him on his phone, you think he's talking to friends or he's playing games, correct? Correct. Uh, t- I thought he was talking to friends, uh, playing games, looking at sports, uh, the regular things that teen- teenagers do on their uh, cell phones. So what made you become concerned? I became concerned. Uh, I, I didn't know that character AI was an issue in my home um, because, quite frankly, Her I didn't understand late. that there was such mm-hmm. a product that uh, a human-like AI chatbot. Really I became late. concerned for my son when he started to behave very differently than he did before. Mm-hmm. Um, he what does started, it mean? Yeah. He started to withdraw socially, um, spending most wanting He's to spend like, most of his time in his room alone. Uh, and you know, that's like a know. huge red flag because, like. You don't, because as soon as she started breaking it down, how like people are texting themselves essentially, I, the first thing I thought of was like, damn, that's gonna fuck with their social life. Like, you didn't notice this nigga didn't come out the room though. Where, yeah. where was he at? 
was he hanging out at the mall with the chat GPT? Like, I, it's come on, bro. Nah, he, she it, said he'll be moody and was just, I want to be on my phone. When you throw a rock into the water and make a wave, mm. if the nigga had friends, you would have known. Bruh. Because they would have been like, he'd be on his phone all the time. Yeah, he'd be a weird, bro. Yeah, he like, you tripping. What's, what's going on? You about to crash out. But she yeah, took his man. phone away. And you didn't go through it, see what the hell was going on? Yeah, and then she said everything was going good, and then she gave him the phone back, and then he immediately got upset again and texted the AI talking about, do you want me to come home? I'm like, bro, what type of cryptic? Teenage, teenagers do that, uh, but for me, it became particularly concerning Man, when sad, he bro. stopped wanting to do things like play he's sports. He's a little kid. Uh, he's, he was playing basketball since he was five years old, and he played on the, his school's junior varsity team. He's an amazing athlete. I became concerned when we would go on vacation, and he didn't want to do the things that he loved, like fishing and hiking. Mm -hmm. uh, those things to me, because I, you know, I, knew my, I know my child, were particularly concerning to me. And then after he, after he took his life, it, it was revealed to you, you started looking at his phone and you saw all of these things. What did you see that was concerning to you? The conversations that he was having with several bots, but particularly one several. bot that he um, was conducting a romantic and sexually explicit via texting or like sexting. Yeah, because what does that mean, sexually explicit? If these are words. Correct. Okay. It's words. It's, it's like you're having a sexting conversation back and forth, except mm -hmm. it's with an AI bot, but the AI bot is very human-like. It's responding just like a person. And he's 14. He is 14. So, yeah. He's 14, so... To your um, knowledge, had he even, was even engaged in sexual activity. I would think that that would be a game-changer for him as well. Correct. Gail. So, Gail, Getting can eight ads you write? Like, it's her. Diabolical. She's Gail. the one pushing for all these ants. Like, chill, bruh. He's sad that this was my, my child's first. My dog can't even Gail. defend himself, bro. Damn. Experience with being in nah, the world, was tweaking, that's though. saddening to me. Mm -hmm. um, now that because every mother wants that. It's They're sad as fuck. That's sad as fuck. I don't know if y'all heard that, but she said the most saddest thing about this whole thing is that his first experience of love is like not even real. Like, and she just would have liked for him to have a real human girl, you know? Like, that's fucked up. I would sue them too. Experience with being in love or romance. That's mm -hmm. saddening to me. Mm -hmm. um, because every mother wants that, their child to come into their own in that respect. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, there's, there's a product out there um, that allows uh, children to get on there and have these uh, romantic relationships, these sexually explicit and obscene, really, uh, obscene conversations yeah. with a bot. And in a child's mind, that is just like a relationship that yes. they're having with, with, a, with another child or with a person. Um, and, you know, interestingly, if this was a woman, because in the chat, she's representing herself as a woman. A woman yeah. If this was a woman, uh, there are laws in this country to protect our children from women who are having sexually explicit conversations with minors or men. What was going on the day that he took his life? Was it a normal day to you? Was it, did you see something out of the ordinary? Uh, well, I guess like AI is kind of like a gender neutral thing. Like that's an entity. Like you, you would have to sue the company. You would have to. Like you can't use, um, uh, sex offender laws for AI. You just got to sue the company for but not. But on what grounds? Like you didn't adequately put protect, up a. Yeah. Are you 18? And yeah. But like, I'm pretty sure they did. You know, JITS can get around that. What are you going to uh, verify yourself? Bro, then they're going to have to eat that shit because he's not 18 and she can prove that he wasn't. And so it's like. But how many sites do you get on before you're 18 where they ask and you just click yes? No, seriously. It's scary, though. Someone in the chat said their little sister is 12. Bro, my sister is this kid's age. And, like, this is why I be, man, please look out for your teenagers and your family, bro, because there's so much little stuff that they be getting influenced to do that is, like, nothing compared to what we had. Like, I couldn't imagine. We had kids at school that used to come to school. Oh, yeah, I got a boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend. They go to nice. another school, though. We didn't have nobody with the AI texting and like, oh, no, yeah, I'm texting my girlfriend. I'm texting my boyfriend. Like, all. play it off. Like, you went too deep because you're a kid and your brain not developed. But when that did happen, wasn't your people like, hey, man, who is you? Yeah, who's what your girlfriend? You? Who are you talking to? Where they at? I haven't I seen them. them. Right. That's all right. <laughs> And then, Jit, bro, what? What? Is, what do you? Don't do this. If you're out there, 
this this is not this the is way. This is not it. And shout Go out to everybody in, grass, the, in our please. chat, bro. I've been seeing a lot of y'all saying y'all be checking y'all people's phones and y'all have seen that shit. Like, yeah. that's crazy. That's past due on your ass. Ain't nobody ask you. Get the bed, then they all harass you. Cause we stack seed and those casual. Toe tag, everybody tag you. Probably never stop to think the circumstances deeper than the status. Or they trying to hide it in their baggage. But ain't no coincidence, it's only consequences. They can't convolute. Smoke shit. End up on 